Hey guys, what's going on? I am heading out to do some walleye fishing today. It's uh, we're heading out for the night bite. It's it's been cold up here, really unseasonably cold. It's warmed up a little bit tonight. You can see it's 52. It's 52 degrees. It, that's warm for what it's been. I think the mornings have been. What have the mornings been like? 31, 32. I'm fishing with my friend Josh today. We're gonna try to get some walleyes. We're, we're going for eaters, eating size walleyes tonight. We're not going for anything big. Uh, we're gonna go to a spot where we can fish some current. And a lot of times, you know, this time of year, the walleyes, they're all post spawn now. And after they spawn, if you've got a spot with current, they'll be sitting in some wood or anything that gives a current break. Yeah, rocks, cement, slabs, anywhere there's a little bit of a current break. So that's kind of what we're gonna look for tonight. And we're gonna see if we can find some walleyes. We don't have a ton of time to fish. So we're gonna get out there, try to fish kind of fast. Although we're gonna be fishing with live bait. We're gonna be fishing with uh, a jig and a minnow. So you can't fish that terribly fast, but we're gonna fish it fast, you know, for that type of presentation. So we're gonna get out there and see if we can get some fish. All right, guys, so Josh and I are out here. We're looking for some fish at some point. So what happened is these fish spawned and a lot of them moved back out deeper due to this cold weather. At some point, they're gonna move shallow again. Right now, you can see on my graph, we're looking for fish and there's a steep right there. You can see that's the edge, that sucker's steep. So we're looking in this deeper water. There's current coming through here and it does not seem like there's any fish out here in this deeper water, which is probably a good thing because the spot we wanna fish is about six feet deep. So we're hoping most of these fish have moved shallower. We've got a water temp sitting there at 53 degrees. Uh, it, you know, that that's warming up, but it, it's definitely telling me the fish are gonna be pre or post spawn which we knew but that's cold for this time of year so we're gonna see what happens we're gonna open her up here and get to the spot here's the fishing spot I'm gonna use a is it can you work it for just a second you might need to turn it down we're here in the spot what we're gonna do I guess I'm gonna be using a 1 16th ounce jig going with white today I'm gonna be pitching this jig. Uh, we're fishing concrete slabs, so I'm not gonna have to pitch it very far. Quite a bit of current, so we're gonna see if we can get some fish. I'm gonna hook on a minnow here. I'll show you what kind of minnow I'm gonna be using. We've got get a little bucket here. size one there we go right there and I'm just gonna I'm not even gonna worry about keeping this thing alive I'm gonna skull hook him get him right through the head and I can grab him just like this right through the lips through the mouth out it's right through the skull let's get some fish you want one just cast it out like that up against this concrete slab I'm just working this bait nice and slow up and down back towards the boat the current is moving us pretty quick. I just hooked up with the first fish. This is a perchy, nice perch. Gonna get a mixed bag here of perch and uh, walleyes. Perchy, let him go. Going for the eyeballs. This is my best fish of the night. There we go, another walleye. We're getting more eyeballs. Uh, they're just smoking that minnow, pitching that jig here in, by these pylons. Let that guy go. It's fun catching him though. Right. So what happened? There we go. Not a bad eyeball. What happened here, we ran out of minnows. So I switched over to a Berkeley Galt minnow. I'll show it to you. There we go, first walleye on the Berkeley Galt minnow right there. Still got that white jig head. But I threw on that Emerald Shiner Galt minnow. He couldn't resist. Bam. 
sorry guy, back in he goes. Bam, look at that one. That's a better fish right there. I mean, we're not getting any huge fish, but that's not a bad fish right there. This spot is just a lot of... He just smoked that Ber Berkeley Gulp. I got my trolling motor all messed up. Did you get that, Josh? Yep. Let this guy go. I'm all. Another one. I'm on to him. Berkeley Galt Minnow. Let this guy all go. Actually, this guy, I'm sure. He just smoked that Berkeley Galt Minnow right there. Not the biggest fish, but on this body of water, we're throwing them back, but this is the size they want you to keep. Don't let him go. Gotta get some, I want him a little bigger than that. Letting that one, letting that one grow a while. Yeah. Bam, guys. Look at that. Berkeley Galt Minnow. Putting some fish in the boat. What I'm doing here is I'm just, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just pitching this thing out. Actually, I'm casting it out, sometimes pitching it out. That, that did not, here, I'll show you in a second. That did not go as far as I wanted it to. I gotta turn this motor off a second, I'm coming up too close. I'm just, you know, working this sucker back. I'll show you a little bit more. Let's see here, so I'm gonna pitch right up. Get up by that pile on there. And uh, floating over here, getting a little getting a little too close. Swift one up to the front of this thing. There we go. I'm just gonna pop it and work this back to the boat. See if we can get another fish. Josh should get a snake here any second. <laughs> well, that's one way to keep it weedless. I'm gonna have to go over and hit the other side here in a second. Alright, so I've caught so many fish now on this piece of gulp that let me show you what I'm catching them on now. We're catching them on, so it's shallow water. I'm fishing at six feet. So I pretty much stick them. No tail little piece of gulp, and that's all it's taken. So what I'm doing, it's still, I'm just, just gonna pop it right up there and work this thing back. All you gotta do is find a little current, and uh, there's some fish. So what, what kind of is happening today is there's, a, there's some scattered gravel. And it seems like when you get on one of these gravel spots, there's fish. I just, the last time I took a cast, I caught a little guy. Oh, I missed a bite, I think. I'm just gonna pop it here and see if he comes back. I could have, I could have stuck some gravel too. That's possible. Might have been gravel. I don't have much of a bait left. I gotta make sure Josh is in good casting range. Yeah, whip it up there. Don't worry about me. And we're just working this. It's, uh, let's see here, the water temp is holding steady. It's gonna get cold. There's some guys fishing from shore. They're calling it a day. Oh, no, just moving spots. Yeah, I just had a bite, I think. I think. Kind of the same spot. We're drifting back. You where, we, where I have not cast it is right down the middle. Josh is on with a nice one. And by nice, I mean a ace. I'll move up. Oh, you break it? Oh. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off, then I'll get a bite. Pop digging. This. Which one we're gonna let go right here? 
healthy fish, but look at that. Only left is the head. Take it back up.